winter arrives, it's fun to dream of trips to take, warm and sunny places to escape to, and we brought in the perfect person to help us out. Absolutely. So what are the travel trends for 2020? From mm -hmm. Vietnam to Vegas, Iceland to Italy, Rick Cecilio, owner of Classic Travel and Tours, knows the latest travel trends and hot spots, and thank you for being here. Rick. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, travel trends for 2020 have changed. Uh, more and more people are looking for adventure. Mm. Uh, so places like Iceland and mm -hmm. Costa Rica, you know, you can spend a, a morning at the beach, but then zip line also uh, in the rainforest in right. Costa Rica. I've done that once. It was and, great. And it is wow. amazing. Wow. <laughs> and exciting. places in Iceland, you know, you can go around and enjoy the hot springs or the city. Mm -hmm. And that's really what's going on for 2020. So you're calling that country coupling. It's country coupling. So no longer one country. Uh, we're going to, and doing trips uh, and travel advisors across the country are combining, for instance, the UK and Croatia. Mm -hmm. or Italy and Northern Europe, Poland or Germany, instead of staying in uh, countries that are just next to each other. Yep. And I see that a big change in requests from clients. But make it make a twofer out of the whole thing. Yeah, A yeah. twofer, yes. Right. All right, you're also talking about reducing impact. Everybody's more environmentally conscious mm -hmm. right now, right? And there are ways to do it in your travel. Uh, yes, uh, what happens is that even in places like the Philippines, they closed an entire bay because of over tourism so that the ocean can recover wow. from the tourist. Mm. Even in Iceland, they, uh, they closed one of the valleys because it was visited too much because it was being Instagrammed. Even a place in Europe, because of certain movies, uh, they have closed and they've moved like 9,000 buses through this little town. And the environmental impact is very, very uh, hard on s smaller places. So more people are uh, looking at going places that are not on the beaten track. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, they're going on train trips. Uh, we are seeing an increase of train uh, travel through Europe and even in North America and in Canada. But these are luxury trains. You can you can kind of have it all while you're getting to your destination. Uh, they can be. There's trains from, from second class, first class, all the way up to luxury trains. Mm -hmm. I mean, train travel through Europe uh, is faster now, mm. uh, and a lot of people prefer to do the train instead of taking the plane because you can certainly see uh, beautiful scenery. Yeah, mm. I'm picturing like North by Northwest, the yeah. Alfred Hitchcock movie, and they have like little <laughs> martinis as they're watching the mountains fly by. Well, now I want to take a train yeah. trip. I like well, that. Well, certain of the trains, they go quite fast for that. <laughs> uh, but I mean, even going years ago from Florence to Rome took two to two and a half hours, now one hour and 20 minutes wow. uh, by the fast trains just wow. in Italy. And they're a lot cheaper. And that's what we're seeing going to uh, into 2020 and beyond. I know, um, at least in my situation and with some other families, we like to do these tiny little trips because you can get away, but you're not away from home and the kind of the comforts that you need. Well, this is the, 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 also the trend for 2020. Uh, us Americans, we don't receive as many vacations days as our counterparts in Europe mm -hmm. and in Australia. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is that we're seeing through travel advisors that they're actually taking smaller trips. So instead of taking a vacation for 14 or 10 days, uh, we're seeing trips that are weekend trips. So they can do a twofer or a threefer for their amount of vacation right. days and they're more adventurous, they're active, and they're no longer just in, as I said, one destination. And people want to take their pets with them too, <laughs> right? They do, I mean. <laughs> Don't the, leave him behind. Do not, her. yeah. <laughs> the, the pet hotels and the arrangements that are coming out in pet travel are pretty good. They have actually pet areas, pet pay, uh, playgrounds, and everything at hotels. And that is really, I think people, not only they're taking their kids, but they're taking their pets also on their trips. There are family, just the same. Um, Tell me what you mean by vegan friendliness. How is this a trend for 2020? Well, uh, moving forward, there are particular restaurants uh, that are, uh, and even, even here in the Pittsburgh area, you see more people and more clients are asking for vegan options. Right. Not just uh, with uh, our trips or our restaurants, but also as moving into our cruise lines, which is uh, uh, Virgin Voyages are coming out with a new ship. It's an all adult 
uh, cruise ship that has a tattoo parlor, vegan restaurants, and really? we're seeing younger individuals looking for a certain different type of cruise. And this is one uh, cruise line that I'm excited uh, to be selling uh, into the next year. Well, in fact, they don't call it a cruise, they call it a voyage. Right? A voyage, yeah. yes, yeah. virgin voyage. <laughs> that so sounds it's so neat. Very, very interesting. interesting, yeah, very nice. Right. So. Thanks a lot, Rick. Thank we you. appreciate well, it. Well, thank you so much for having me. Rick Cecilio of Classic Travel and Tours, which is based right here in Pittsburgh. Makes you think about going somewhere. I can't wait.